At the hearing today, the House January 6th committee outlined President, former President Trump's pressure on election and local officials to overturn the 2020 presidential election results. The panel said the pressure was fueled by Trump's unproven claims of voter fraud, which led to the riot at the Capitol. The panel investigating the U.S. Capitol attack resumed Tuesday with a focus on Trump's efforts to pressure battleground state officials to reject state tallies and electors. Donald Trump and his campaign tried to put pressure on them. When state executive officials refused to certify him the winner of states he lost, he applied more pressure. Arizona's Republican State House Speaker Rusty Bowers testified about calls he received from Trump and aides asking him to decertify electors and replace them. That we would decertify the electors and that that because we had plenary authority to do so. Bowers said his oath wouldn't allow him to do it. And I said, you're asking me to do something that's never been done in history, the history of the United States. And I'm going to put my state through that without sufficient proof. They defrauded us out of a win in Georgia. Key witnesses also included Georgia's Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. So dead people voted. And I think uh, the, the number is in the pro uh, close to 5,000 people. So, Secretary, did your office investigate whether those allegations were accurate? Did 5,000 dead people uh, in Georgia vote? Uh, no, it's not accurate. Raffensperger's top deputy, Gabe Sterling, testified that false claims of voter fraud led to threats. Stop inspiring people to commit potential acts of violence. Someone's going to get hurt. After you made this plea to the president, did Donald Trump urge his supporters to avoid the use of violence? Not to my knowledge. Wandrea Shea Moss, a former Georgia election worker, testified that she and her mother faced severe public harassment and threats from Trump supporters. Wishing death upon me. Um, Telling me that, you know, I'm, I'll be in jail with my mother and saying things like, be glad it's 2020 and not 1920. And while the committee can't charge Trump with crimes, the Justice Department is watching the panel's work closely. In the newsroom, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.